everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Cuball. Today is episode 4, I'm breaking bushes and destroying cobwebs in order to gain some resources for my armour. And you've probably just seen it there, yeah, look at that. We have managed to find another dungeon. This is actually a castle, or a palace, shall we call it. Um, or because it's been abandoned, it's known as the Ruins of Sela. Now, I've actually already been inside the front door of this. Uh, you can see a couple of mobs are just there, and you know what? It wasn't that bad. They are blue text names, but I was actually able to hold them off with some level of ease. So I'm actually kind of excited about this. I'm going to try and do a dungeon run. I ran into the first room and picked up some of these candles. And that was that was all I did. I left it there. So I think if I switch out to my potions, I might make a little more than, uh, than five of them. And I think I might try and do a dungeon run. This can go one of two ways. I mean, we saw how yesterday's went. But considering how easy these mobs were, I think I might be okay. I think the best thing to do is to take out the mage and I can't work out what that guy next to him is but if I take out the mage first because he's going to be the most difficult the mage and the ranger are always going to be the uh, the problem all right so it looks like we've got two mages and a melee one of them seems to be a projectile mage the other one seems to be a whirlwind mage so that's the mage is dealt with almost there we go right back off with you and then take him out very very quickly yeah this is looking like oh no less of that stop that Oh, of course he gets that. Oh, bloody hell. All right. He's giving me a bit of a battering. There you go. And down we are. Good stuff. It looked like he was actually deflecting my, um, my what's it called? My fireball attacks. That was kind of strange. He was like sh flinging them up into the air. It was pretty epic. So this is the Ruins of Sela. You'll notice on the right-hand side of the screen, it says defeat the ruler of the Ruins of Sela. And I should try and work out where he is before I go in here. Um... Oh, it doesn't actually say. Usually I get some kind of icon on my screen of where he is, but it looks like it's a circular shape and then a room that's branching off at the very back. I don't think this is one of the ones that actually goes down underground, so I think, yeah, I think if we just sort of head in, go around the circle and out the back way, we'll be okay. I'm just keeping an eye out for spikes. The spikes can be uh, not particularly friendly in places like this. If I just quickly get myself up to max health, every last bit of health uh, will actually help out massively. Oh, there it is, actually. Now I see it. I probably just had to be closer in order to see it. If I look on the map. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so the boss is in that very back room. We're right. Okay, cool. Right, now, just got to be sneaky and creepy around here. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, looks like we've got a couple here. There we are. Good. If I can hold them back and deal with just one at a time, that would be ideal. The undead are really frustrating me when it's mages. But again, that's fine. I think I'm out of an attackable range almost. He'll have to run down here and come around the corner in order to, to land anything on me. There you go. You probably won't use a potion again. It seems like they only use potions the once, so I might be okay. I might be quite lucky with that. There we go. Let me knock you over. No. All right. Mage versus mage battle. Let's do it. There you go, and down you go. Marvellous. Get loads of coins for this. I've only just realised I'm really close to levelling as well. That's going to be pretty handy once I uh, ding. Hopefully I get like a health regen when I ding. That'd be quite nice. So I'm actually able to regen during battle. I might just quickly heal again. I'm just very paranoid. I've, have, I've had so many like close calls when I've played this in the past that I just know that if I have full health, it's going to work out better for me. Because sometimes I survived with no more than, like, 16 HP. There's nothing on there, is there? Nothing on the shelf now. Right, okay. Let's see what we've got. I can't really see over the top there. Is there anyone around this corner? No. Oh, oh they're there, they're there. Oh, balls. All right, okay. What's there? It's always a ranger. All right, okay. All right, range versus range battle. Oh, dear. I'm taking a bit of damage off these. Jeez. Let me take out this mage first. Oh, heal, heal, heal. Where are my potions? Oh, I think I heard them doing the same thing. <laughs> oh, God. All right, there he is. And come straight out with the fireballs. I think I may have taken care of one of the undead, but not the other one. Because it, it looks like one of them hasn't chased me. All right, okay. And you as well. All right, good. Good. Right, that's you sorted. There might still be one up here. No, it looks like I defeated him. What did he drop? He dropped uh, armor for 8.9. That's not as good as what I already have. Okay. Oh, there's a vase there I can smash. Nice. All right, okay, hold on. I'm going to heal up again. You'll see how just then, because I was panicking to try and put my potion on, um, I survived with just the slightest bit of health. But that's one thing I should do, actually, is I should make sure that the potion is equipped before I move into the next section. I can put my torch on. That does often give away my position. And go on, then. That's it. Was that, did that say zombie? 
I haven't seen zombies in this game before. Oh my god. Alright, okay. There we go. Just me and the undead left to deal with. Oh dear. There we go. Yeah, if I sneak around the side of the pillar every time he goes for his charged attack. There we go. And I might be okay. I shouldn't respawn too far away from here in the case that I die, but I'd just rather it not happen. Right, okay. Heal up again. It looks like we're not actually too far away from him. Hopefully the boss isn't going to be absurdly strong. Okay, here we go. It's that one. Right, now what I want to do is I want to get around here and just fire off against these two before they get to do anything. That's it. Good stuff. And you are dealt with melee man. And you are as well. Oh, and he levels up. Yes. Perfect. And I think my health did go all the way back up to the top as well. Because I'm pretty sure they did just nail a couple of hits on me. And now I appear to be at full health, so that's good. What I might even do is, if I do this dungeon relatively easily, I might go around the other way as well and just pick up any loot and levels that I can. Or any XP that I can, shall I say. There we go. Let me get him around this corner. There we are. That's what I want. It's easier if I just lure them in close and I can actually stun them. No. Stop it. And you're done as well. Good stuff. Right. So is it... Oh, there's a vase there. And also one here. Good stuff. 21 copper. I might actually have enough for a boat now. That was my first objective, wasn't it, for this Let's Play. Let's have a look. Uh, money, 27, oh, 27 silver. I can afford a boat and a hang glider. Uh, oh, no, my goal was to get a hang glider, wasn't it? Right, okay. I don't think I need to use a heal pot just yet. Let me acquire, let me put that on. Okay. Let's see how we do here, then. He might have some friends that come with him, but I'm not sure. Uh, oh, he has a werewolf. I think that's a werewolf. That's not something I was expecting. Yeah, that's a werewolf. Bloody hell. Alright, okay. I'm going to have to deal with the werewolf first. Oh, I really wasn't expecting this. Balls. I think I can keep them both at bay, though, with my attacks. If I get them both close together. And what's he got? Has he got a zombie as well? Oh, a skeleton. Oh, okay. Alright, this looks tough. Uh, oh, balls. Jump. There we are. Let me take out the skeleton first. So, it looks like this boss doesn't replicate myself or my pet. Even though I don't have one yet. But it looks like he does call forward his own minions. So that's fine. I can deal with that. All right. All right. Okay. Skelly Bob. There you go. Oh, the werewolf is here. All right. Okay. I'm hoping that nothing's respawned behind us. Hey, what are you doing? No, you're a big ass werewolf. You're not allowed to use health pods. What are you talking about? Actually, the, the werewolf's pretty low. Good dodge. Good dodge. Let me take out the werewolf quickly. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, quick. There we go. Right, looks like the zombie is there. Okay, cool. Right, this is going relatively okay. There we go. Oh, there we go. Good. Right, okay. I think now I should be okay. I think it's just going to be a case of kiting him around, knocking him over a couple of times. Oh, I can't see. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, God. Okay. I think it's just going to be a case of kiting him, knocking him over, and then killing any of his little minions that spawn around him. Altus the Undead. Altus of the Ruins of Sela. Right, okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And down you go. Oh, no, he didn't fall that time. All right. His attack is pretty slow. So even if he doesn't get staggered uh, and fall over when I do that, I should be able to dodge. Was that a uh, potion? I think that was a potion. I mean, there's a potion on the shelf just to the r right of me. I need to get around to it. There we go. All right. What was it? What was it? What was it? Potion. There you go. I don't know what it was. I can't see it. It might be some cool potion. It's, it was blue. Unless it was a water flask. Which is also very likely. Ah, you skeleton. Bugger off you. Oh, dodge, dodge. Yeah, good. Right. Uh, I might just heal a little bit. I just don't want to play playing it too riskfully. Oh, there he is. Right, good. Good. That's it. Oh. He almost got me. Cool. I'm about halfway there, actually. This is going pretty smoothly. I wasn't expecting this to go so well. Considering that I was only taking, like, a couple of pixels off of the previous ones we fought. I thought I was dead for sure when I came in here. I thought I'd be able to take out the mobs. And then the boss would just be, like, crazy powerful. Oh, I used that way too early. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep plowing on him. Keep going. No, don't use the potion, you noob. That's it. Oh, he didn't... Get on the floor. Oh, dear. All right, okay. And if I just do this, there you go. That's what I'm looking for. That's it. Keep going. All right, we're into the final fifth. Ooh. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Altus, move away from him. Right, stun him. That's it, good. 
And then it just should be a couple more hits. Ah, zombie, of course. There we go. Good. Okay, so his zombie got stunned. He didn't. Although I can use that opportunity to take out his zombie. Oh, there you go. These dodges are actually pretty handy. I don't think I'm really dodging the attacks because sometimes if the attack lands directly on you and you dodge at the right time, you won't take any damage. But if I think I'm just straight up avoiding the, his range, which is a different way of playing it. Oh, <laughs> there we go. This has got to be it. Oh, he's dodging now. He's starting to get nervous. But yeah, I'm on the edge of my seat. And come on, come on, come on, come on. And one more blast and boom. Oh, come on. There it is. Quest complete. What did I get? I got an ice spirit for a power of 14. I got some adjusted iron gloves for a rogue. Copper coins, a silver coin. That's handy. And also some silk shoulder armor, which is better than what I'm currently wearing. So let me just quickly pop this on. There we go. Good stuff. Right, now to explain what I just acquired, everybody. Uh, this thing here, the ice spirit. If you remember earlier on in the previous episodes, how I put wood onto my weapon... Well, what I can do with this is I can put this onto my weapon, almost like a gem. You know, like kind of in most MMOs, you have uh, sockets and you can fill them with gems. Well, basically, you can just pimp out your weapons with gems in this game. Uh, so that's pretty much what it is. Now, I don't know if he was defending anything. Usually, there's like some chests inside of these dungeon runs, but I don't know if I can find one. No, there's nothing there. Was that a staircase? No, it's not. Right, so it looks like there might be a chest somewhere else inside of this dungeon run. So I'm going to go around the opposite way <laughs> and finish off the rest of the circle. Um, see if I can deal with him. Oh, is that... Oh, I thought that might be an emerald deposit. It's not. Uh, sort out the uh, the ranger first. I really don't like the rangers. Uh, oh, actually, you're a bit close for comfort, you. Let me just quickly do that. There you are. Thank you. Right, now, if I get around the corner, they should hopefully come and introduce themselves to me. What is that noise? That's ungodly. There you go. Is it good? Take him out as quick as I can before he drinks a potion as well. Good. Right. Now you. Down you go. And thank you very much. Good. I've conquered the ruins of Sealer pretty much. I think I've got this unlocked. Oh dear. Alright. Good. Let's keep on going on him. And the undead has died for a second time. Right. Okay. There's nothing there. It's a suspicious corridor here. It's strange this place not actually going underground. It's not often that you see them. Uh, whoa! Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> oh, God, I need to heal. I need to heal. Just run away and heal. That's it. That's it. That's it. And then as soon as I stop, stagger them. There you go. Ah, you dodged it. Very well played. That was really well timed on your part. You saw me charging it and you moved out of the way. Bravo, sir. Bravo. There you go. And again, you did the same thing. So they seem to be aware of when I'm going to charge up and attack as well. So it's nice that it levels the playing field. I like that the AI is that smart. It's a good demonstration of the coding on that. Ah, you're drinking a potion. You stop that. There you go. You won't be dodging that one anytime soon. And down you are. Fantastic. Right, anything else to do? I only got about halfway down the corridor to head back. So I think there's only the top corner and also the path to the right of me as well. Which will take me back to where I started. Oh, that's it. That's it. And then go down the stairs. Oh, there's another candle there to steal. <laughs> I'm going to become a candle hoarder in this game. Whoa, was that a... What level potion was that? Let me check. Potions. Oh, it was just a level one potion. Could have sworn it was a higher one. So there we go. That's it. That's epic. So we have conquered the ruins of Sela. I'm very chuffed with that. I might see, actually, if there is another... If there's another dungeon nearby. So we've already tried Varian Canyon. That one we haven't discovered yet. The one just to the uh, to the east of us. So I might head off in that direction. That's kind of the direction I came from anyway. Considering it's uh, directly south of uh, Nano City. So I may as well make my way over this. That was pretty cool. What do you reckon to that? I dinged. I got that. I pooned the boss. It was epic. I am noticing that playing as a mage is probably the easiest class out of all of them. Um, so I now see why Toby is suddenly like super powered. Um, just because it's just so easy. It's easy to knock them down. It's easy to keep a distance so you don't take any damage. Uh, the only things you have to worry about are the mages and the rangers. But more often than not they are melee uh, mobs inside of the dungeons as well. So... It's not too difficult. Right, uh, what we got? We got some mushrooms here. I could maybe do... I don't know if I want to make any more potions for myself. Am I actually able to craft high level potions? Oh, yeah, I can. I thought I might be able to. Good stuff. If I make, like, what, five of them? Oh, I finished that off. 
There it is, got it. <laughs> That's one thing I've noticed is that sometimes if you if you quit the crafting window mid crafting, I think if it's over halfway, when you come back to it, it'll actually complete the rest. If it's under halfway, then it seems to stop. I don't know if that's a bug in general or um, or if that's just the way it is. It seems pretty legit. It seems like it was intentional. So, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. Where are we going? Are we that far off? Oh, actually, it's right next to the path. I could have found this by accident before, actually. Um, when I followed the path, because pretty much myself and Toby, our number one rule whenever we play Cube World is the first thing you got to do is find the path near the spawn, which is this gigantic orange one. Ouch! And uh, and then we actually just follow it, and it will take us to a town. More often than not, we'll follow it in the wrong direction because you follow it, and it will honestly the the outskirts of where you are to begin with is where the town is. So if you go the wrong way, you'll learn about it pretty quickly. So you'll know uh, which which direction the city is in no time. Let me just quickly grab that thing there. I'll grab some wood, some logs. I might check, actually. What was I going to look for? Oh, I got a recipe there. Oh, that's for a rogue. Oh, bugger. All right, never mind. Balls to that. Right, okay, let me just go over here and quickly grab this. One thing I do need to do, considering that I leveled back in the dungeon, is I need to spend my skill points. Now, did I say I was going to do... Was it two on there? Yes, it was. Yes, wasn't it? Yeah. So I can do that so I can learn mana shield. Uh, I do have to click learn though. I forgot to do that. One, two, and learn. Good. So how does that work then? Oh, balls. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. Okay, so sometimes you actually have to put five on one ability in order to open up the access um, to the ability, and then you have to put one on anyway, so I'm not going to acquire Mana Shield until my next level, <laughs> until I get two more uh, points. And I'm wondering if that's going to stay the same the whole way through. Is it, for every time you level, is it always going to be you get two skill points, or maybe the higher up level you get, the more skill points you'll acquire? Like, if you break, like, a level 10 threshold, which I haven't noticed so far, maybe a level 20 threshold is when you might get, like, an extra one per level. Uh, ah, here we go. What's on there? Can't see anything there. It might just be an out in the open mob. The crows seem relatively friendly. Actually, crows, you want to eat anything that I've got? Carrot? Pancakes? No? All right, cool. What mob could like pancakes? We should have some guesses. Or if you actually know, that'd be fantastic. Um, so c pancakes, carrots, and caramel chocolate bars. Does anybody know from reading wikis or seeing dev videos which animals like those particular things? If you do know, that would be massively helpful because I can actually go and do that myself um, and go and get myself a pet. Because I wanted to find bubblegum so I could get myself um, like a collie or something just to have some kind of pet that can tank for me because they can take the brunt of the attacks for a little while um, when you're facing off against some slightly stronger mobs, which can give you that just that, those extra couple of seconds that you need in order to, uh, in order to heal up. So, yeah. What is that? Is that... I mean, that might just... Oh, no, that is an, it's another similar sort of dungeon. Is it another ruins, or...? I'm not sure. One thing that I have found, actually... Like, goddamn raccoon... Oh, is that a raccoon? No, it's the bee. Okay. Whew, I actually killed a raccoon earlier on as the mage. I was actually able to kill it without it um, completely destroying me. But, um... Oh, I see. Okay. Defeat the ruler in the catacombs. Right, so this is going to be one of the ones... That heads down underground, isn't it? Right, okay. Where's my strong potions at? Plus 17, okay. So, basically, I think the idea behind the potions is that they heal more more overall. So, they're going to heal quicker per second. Yeah, so we've got a leap from 200 to 282. I might just very quickly sleep in here to fill out the rest of my health. There we go. I could probably do with some cooking as well. Just in case I want to get some more food. Uh, I've got no snowberries. I don't know where you find snowberries. They're probably in the snow biomes, aren't they? In the winter biomes. But yeah, here we go. Second dungeon run in one episode. Or I might leave it there for today and we'll attempt it in the next episode. I think that might be the best thing to do, considering we've gotten to, ep uh, to 20 minutes or so. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, make sure you check out tomorrow's episode, where I'm going to try and attempt these catacombs. What I might do is, if I get owned horribly straight away, I might go away and grind a little bit and then come back when we're actually able to do it. And then we can go through this single player. Although, to be fair, when I did Catacombs before, I did have to multiplayer it. Um, we had to do it as a party of four, so this could be very, very tough. So thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I shall see you all in a little bit.